everyone, I'm your host Leo, I make music reactions and deep dives on artists, their albums, the music industry and music genres. My channel has been focusing more and more on women in rock, metal and alternative music genres. And I really wanted to talk about the Grammys. If you want to know more about the Grammys in general and the submission process, you can go check out my first video on the Grammys. It is on the general categories, the pop categories and how the Grammy submission process work. Otherwise, today I'm going to be focusing on the rock, metal and alternative categories. For each category, I am going to go back to last year's winner. I am going to explain to you what are the criteria to win and be nominated in this category. And I will give you some facts on who are the past winners. And the second thing that I'm going to do, so future me is also going to be in this video, I am going to react to this year's list of winners and I'm going to give my prediction on who is going to win. I'm going to make a little game out of it, so I am going to say who I think will win the category and who I wish wins the category. For the first thing, I'm going to give myself two points and for the second, one point. Hi, so I'm Leo. In the future, the nominees have been announced. I have the list near me. I haven't looked at anything yet. So I'm going to discover the nominees of this year's Grammys in front of the camera. Regarding your participation to the game that passed me, explain, write your predictions in the type form that I put in the description and in the first comment of this video. And if you do so and I collect your emails, I can warn you if you win. Because the goal of this game is of course to have as many points as possible and to win. The first category in rock is best rock performance and this goes to new vocal or instrumental rock recordings and this can go to albums for a solo artist, duos or groups. This award is a combination of some previous categories that existed. Basically it combines best solo rock vocal performance, best rock performance by a duo or group with vocal and best rock instrumental performance. Basically the Grammy Awards has had a year when they wanted to decrease the number of category and this new best rock performance global category is combining the previous three that I just named. Basically they didn't want to make the distinction anymore between solos and groups performances because most artists in rock are bands or they are like an artist that is backed by a band. So this new category dates back to 2012 and the first winners were the Foo Fighters and since 2014 this category also includes hard rock performances. Before you also had best hard rock performance and best hard rock slash metal, but now they don't exist anymore. And you only have best rock performance and best metal performance. Brittany Howard holds the most nomination in this category with six. Last year's winner in this category was Not Strong Enough by Boy Genius. And I was really excited to see them win because they are such talented musicians. They really deserved it. In my opinion and the song is so amazing. But please future me, can you let me know who are the nominees in this year's category because I'm really excited about that. And the nominees for best rock performance are Now and Then by The Beatles, Beautiful People by The Black Keys, The American Dream is Killing Me by Green Day, Gift Horse by Idols, Dark Matter by Pearl Jam and Broken Man by St. Vincent. I think I'm going to predict Now and Then by The Beatles. Pure because I could see the Grammys, you know, they love going back in time. They love their white men. So I'm going to bet on now and then. Regarding my wish, I'm going to go for The American Dream is Killing Me by Green Day. I also love me a little nostalgia, you know. I used to listen to them a lot when I was in high school. That's it for like best rock performance, but to you, Leo. Now let's move on to best metal performance. This award goes to new vocal or instrumental, solo, duo, group, or collaborative metal recordings. So it's basically the same, but now they really make the distinction between rock and metal with scrapping the hard rock stuff. The first time that heavy metal music was recognized by the Grammy was in 1989 at the 31st annual Grammy Awards. And back then it was 
like best hard rock slash metal performance vocal or instrumental but now they kind of scrap like hard rock and it can go in the rock category so this precise category was first presented in 1990 and the first winners were metallica without any surprise metallica holds the most wins in this category with seven wins out of eight nominations, so I think it's fair to say that the Grammys are absolutely obsessed with Metallica. Megadeth is the band that has been nominated the most times with 11 nominations, but they only won once in 2017 with Dystopia. That must sting a little bit, like being nominated 11 times and only winning once, I would be really pissed. I need to mention the fact that Gojira were nominated two times in this Grammy category because they are French and I'm French, so I'm going to mention them. Congratulations. Last year, Metallica won with 72 seasons. I have to say that I was pretty pissed about that because I was really hoping that Spirits Box would win, but as I said, the Grammys are absolutely obsessed with Metallica, so I think that if they are nominated, there isn't a lot of hope for other people in the category. So please, Leo, let me know. The nominees for Best Metal Performance are... <gasps> Mea culpa a Saira by Gojira, Marina Viotti and Victor Lemann. Ah! French metal is here on the list. I'm so happy. Crown of Horns by Judas Priest. Suffocate by Knocked Loose and Poppy. I made a reaction to this. I'm so excited to see them on the list. Screaming Suicide by Metallica. And Cellar Door by Spirit Box. Damn. Every single time, as we said, the Grammys, they love Metallica so much. So I think they're going to win if they're on this list. So I'm going to say Metallica purely because the Grammys made them win so much that I think that if I say something else and they win, I'm going to feel stupid. Because it seems really obvious. So yeah, my prediction for this win is Screaming Society by Metallica. And my wish is complicated because I really want to say Suffocate. Um, I'd love to see Poppy win, you know. But at the same time, Gojira is here and they're French and I'm French and I like them. So am I choosing my roots or Poppy? Mm, I also love Spirit Box. I don't know. Okay, my wish is Mea Culpa a Saira by Gojira. Okay, back to you, Leo. Next, we have Best Rock Song, and this is an award that goes to the songwriters. This category is called Best Rock Song, but it is including rock, hard rock, and metal songs. And a song can be nominated if it was first released or if it first achieved prominence during the eligibility period. Singles and track can be nominated in this category. The category was created in 1992 and the first people to win in this category is Sting for the Soul Cages. Dave Grohl, Pat Smear and Bruce Springsteen hold four wins each out of five nominations for Pat Smear, so that's pretty impressive. And the song that won last year is not strong enough and the award went to Julian Baker, Phoebe Bridgers and Lucy Bacius. I was also extremely excited about this win and I am really wondering who are the nominees this year so future Leo can you let me know please. The nominees for this year's best rock song are Beautiful People Stay High by The Black Keys, Broken Men by St. Vincent, Dark Matter by Pearl Jam, Dilemmas by Green Day, and Gift Horses by Adels. You know what? I'm going to be... I don't know. It's... I'm gonna bet on Dark Matter by Pearl Jam, and my wish is going to be... Green Day. Dilemma by Green Day for the nostalgia, and because I'd like to see them again. I don't know. Back to you, Leo. The next category is Best Rock Album, and this goes to albums containing more than 75% of playing time of new rock, hard rock, or metal recordings. So this also includes like more than one genre in this category. I think that the fact that they are combining rock and metal is really not helping metal albums win. A lot of rock albums are more mainstream, and we can say what we want in a lot of categories. This is something that the 
recording academy is going to favor. So yeah, I wish they were making the distinction because I think that now a lot of metal albums don't really have hopes of winning. The category was created in 1995 and the first winners were the Rolling Stones with Voodoo Lounge. The Foo Fighters all the most wins in this category with five wins out of eight nominations. Cage the Elephant, Sheryl Crow and Muse have two wins out of three nominations in this category. Green Day is the best with two wins out of two nominations, so that's a perfect for them. And you two have two wins out of five nominations in this category. Last year's winner were Paramore with the album This Is Why. Again, I was excited about this win. I'm really glad that Paramore got some flowers at the Grammys. And for this year, I'm really curious. Please, Leo, let us know who are the nominees. The nominees for Best Rock Album are Happiness Bastards by The Black Crows, Romance by Fontaine's DC, Saviors by Green Day, Tank by Idols, Dark Matter by Pearl Jam, Hackney Diamonds by The Rolling Stones, and No Name by, by Jack White. If I'm honest, I don't know these albums enough to have an accurate prediction, I'm sure. So I'm going to give a prediction for Hackney Diamonds by The Rolling Stones, because they're The Rolling Stones. And my wish, purely based on what my heart calls for, will be for Saviors by Green Day. Back to you, Leo. Now off to Best Alternative Music Performance. So this goes to New Vocal or Instrumental, Solo, Duo, Group or Collaborative, Alternative Music Recordings. Alternative music is a pretty vague term, but the Recording Academy defines alternative music as a genre that embraces innovation, is less intense than rock, but more intense than pop, which can mix a variety of subgenres and may not fit into other genre categories. This award was first created in 2023 and the first winners are Wet Leg for Chaise Long. I saw them live at Harry Styles show in Paris and I was so happy. And last year's winners were Paramore again with This Is Why. I think in this category they won over Lana Del Rey and I was really sad because I wanted her to win. But I'm curious, in 2024, who are the nominees? Please, Leo, let us know. The nominees for Best Alternative Music Performance are Neon Feel by Cage the Elephant, Song of the Lake by Nick Cave and the Bad Seeds, Star Busters by Fontaine's DC, Bye Bye by Kim Gordon, and Flea by St. Vincent. And I'm going to bet on Song of the Lake by Nick Cave and the Bad Seeds. It's going to be my prediction and my wish. If I'm honest, I know that other people on this list have a high chance of winning, but Nick Cave has my heart, so here are my predictions for this category. Back to you, Leo. And now the last category that I wanted to cover in this is the Best Alternative Music Album category. So it's the same as the last award, but this time it's for the vocal or instrumental alternative music albums. And basically in this category they are saying that they want to honor artistic achievement technical proficiency and overall excellence in the recording industry without regard to album sales or chart position. I don't know if that's really true, but that's what they say and I think that the members of the Recording Academy are trying to hold true to that, so yeah. The first time this award was set was in 1991 and it was won by Siniad O'Connor with I do not want what I haven't got. Beck, Radiohead and the White Stripes have three wins each in this category. Bjork was nominated nine times, but she won zero times, which is outrageous, I think. Like, honestly, I don't know. Don't keep nominating someone like if you don't really appreciate their work, I don't know. But it's still nice to be nominated, yeah. And Tom York is the person who has the most nominations in this category, with 11 nominations if you combine his Radiohead and solo nominations. Last year's winner was The Record by Boy Genius. So once again, I was really happy to see them win, but they also won over Lana Del Rey and I was pretty sad. Like, she keeps getting nominated, but she doesn't win, which is... I would be sad. If it was me, it would, I think I would be pissed, I don't know. <laughs> but please, Tutor Leo, let us know who is nominated this year. The nominees for Best Alternative Music Album 
are Wild God by Nick Cave and the Bad Seeds, Charm by Clairo, The Collective by Kim Gordon, What Now by Brittany Howard, and All Born Screaming by St. Vincent. Um, I think that Clairo would have a great chance at winning, but St. Vincent too. Honestly, Nick Cave too. <laughs> it's, it's, this game is really hard, I don't know why I put myself in this situation. My prediction is going to be Charm by Clairo, but for my wish I'm also going to go for Wild God by Nick Cave and the Bad Seeds. This is my wish. So I have to say, I'm a little sad that Bad Omens was <laughs> were not nominated. But yeah, I know that they have like around 20,000 entries every year. So I'm pretty sure so many people like were deserving. But yeah, seeing Poppy and Spirit the Box nominated in Best Metal Performance made me a little sad to not also see Bad Omens. Please play with me, go in the type form of the description or in the first comment of this video and give me your own predictions and wishes for this year's Grammys. I hope you liked this video, I really wanted to focus on these categories because they are the music genres that I listen to the most. And I just wanted to geek over them basically. Please let me know what are your predictions, who you think is going to win and who you wish to see win for each category. I will put that in my Excel if you want to play. Like each year we play this game with my roommate. I'm not very good at it so I don't know if future Leo is going to be really strong with her guesses but it's still fun and I love playing it so I thought why not do that on a broader scale this year? The follow-up video will be posted at the beginning of February when we finally have the winners in the categories. I am so excited like at the idea of reacting to the winners really. Don't forget to like this video and share it with a friend, especially if you want them to play the game with us. If you want to see more content from me you can go on my TikTok where I post short form content and if you want to stalk me you can go to my Instagram. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos. My my videos of the month of November are going to be focusing on Ethel Kane because I will react to her new music and make deep dives on her golden age and her inbred EPs. So subscribe and activate the bell if you want to support my channel and if you don't want to miss any of my future videos. I was your host Leo and I will see you very soon.